Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with match day number 7 of the pack playoff series. Now of course we're playing Luke Connerton today as you'll be able to tell from the title and also you'll be able to tell from the title that this is a mental game. Absolute madness in this one. Considering our previous few games have been nil-nil draws or slim wins or slim defeats, this game just everything came out. Everything came out. It was just absolutely bonkers. So you can see Luke is going to have a very, very strong side, particularly his strike force. You'll be able to tell as it pops up on your screen. He's actually got Diego Costa Costa and Berbatov up top with the pace of Nathan Dower out wide on the left, on the right rather, and Jose Antonio Reyes on the left, who's a very, very good winger. Pace of Torresidis at left back, even though he's a right back, and then a very, very strong central defensive partnership. And that also soon a goalkeeper. I think his name's Fernandez. I'm not entirely too sure, but he's got very, very high reflexes and diving. So this was never going to be an easy, easy game by any means. As you can see, Berbatov draws a fantastic save out of Brad Guzan there early on. I left the replay in because Brad Guzan has done this for us all series long. That is a top draw save up to his right hand side unfortunately Jose Antonio Reyes is going to whip in the cross and uh, Berbatov just bumps his way through two or three plays to get on the end of it to put him 1-0 up and then he does a, a stereotypical Berbatov celebration which is wasting too much en or more energy rather in the cello than he does actually scoring the goal in the first place we've got a great chance to get ourselves back on level terms here Denisov with the shot well blocked he gets to the rebound and uh, unfortunately for Luke his, uh, well, his defender slides in and takes him out Pereja is going to pick up a booking here and uh, when I first, when it happened in real time, I just didn't know what happened. But as you can see here, Pereja lunges in almost at waist height with that left foot there, and then we actually pick up a penalty. And Janino on his debut, he's not got much pace, but I threw him in for chemistry, and he's got fantastic dead ball stats, free kicks, penalties, corners, etc. And that is a great pen. Keeper went the right way, couldn't get near it, and we're back to 1-1 after 25 minutes. And uh, Coming up towards half time now, Luke's on the attack again. Going to catch me on the counter attack here. Diego Costa playing a nice 1 2 with Berbatov. Unfortunately, Conco on the far side plays Dimitar on side. And Bichetti just can't get anywhere near him. And unfortunately, he's able to put the ball into the back of the net to make it 2 1 to Luke Connaughton before we reach half time. But we weren't done before the half, not by a long stretch. Belomo playing the ball to Conco on the overlap. Coming up towards first half stoppage time. Conco chips it up. Where's Pabon? There he is, right on the end of the ball. The ball goes over the top of the defender. Miss Judges his header, Pabon, tiny little Pabon, is there to head home and we equalise. And then still in first half stoppage time, the corner's cleared. Paquetti knocks it down to Kosu, no backlift whatsoever, let's rip, screamer. I don't care what anyone says, no backlift, 25 yards out from goal. That is the best goal that we've scored so far in this uh, in this pack playoff series. A wonder goal from Kosu to put us 3-2 up in stoppage time at the end of the second half. And I have to say, it's nothing less than we deserved. But at the same time, Luke will be definite, will definitely be disappointed. As you can see, 45 minutes for Pabon and it was actually 45 plus 5 for Kosu there. Fifth minute of added time. We pulled two goals back at the end of the uh, the end of the first half to go in at the break in front. As you can see, stat wise, nothing less than we deserved. But you know, it's always disappointing when you're in front coming up to half time, especially when you go in front just five minutes before half time to not carry that through to the break. So you can understand why Luke may be slightly uh, slightly upset at the fact that he went in three two down at the break. But uh, he was four two down not long after. Ten minutes after the break, Belomo, the silver midfielder we've got in there for uh, for chemistry because he's Italian and from Serie A. Puts us four to what a great strike off the post. It has to be said, wonderful effort. But wow, Berbatov, that scoop turn, my defender absolutely stacked it. Uh, the replay, they're not the whole replays in there, but you just see the scoop turn, the defender just flopped to the floor. If you didn't see it, go watch, go back and watch it in real time because the defender just absolutely murdered himself. Couldn't change direction, it's fantastic from Berbatov. Diego Costa put in the rebound, but it wasn't enough. 4 3 is the final result. We take our second win of the series. We're now up to 8 points. Pabon getting a 9 rating, absolutely wonderful. And you can see from the stats at the end of the half, it is nothing less than we deserved yet again. 20 shots, 13 on target, 61% possession. Just just an all-round absolutely insane game. If I could have shown you every single chance, I would have, because a lot of them were clear-cut chances as well. Absolutely mental game. Definitely the best game we've played in this series, and definitely, probably, actually, the best game that I've played on Ultimate Team on Next Gen as a whole. But we have the option to take a player from uh, from Luke or open a seven and a half thousand coin pack, and I chose to go for the pack to uh, to hopefully try and pull some uh, pull some consumable cards that we can use like fitness cards etc. As well as getting some players. So we're hoping for a wing back, some wingers or a striker and we get the gold. Ashley Cole comes in. We also pull Nicholas and Kulu as well. That is a fantastic pack. Unfortunately no fitness cards but 
we do have a little bit of a special thing because this is of course seventh game halfway through the series so everyone is getting to open two seven and a half thousand coin packs to help boost their squads as we hit the halfway stage of the tournament so we're going to two more gold packs to open and in the first one we're going to pull Lee Dong Guk now he doesn't have much pace but he is a striker something that we need and we do pull Musa the Nigerian striker lot of pace from uh, CSK Moscow 90 pace 81 dribbling he could be the difference for us up top with Pabon if we can get them in a squad together so let's open the the third pack, of course, to, uh, to reiterate, one pack for winning the game against Luke and two as halfway point in the tournament booster packs. So if we could pull something decent in this one as well, it would be crucial, could be crucial for us to move further up the league table later on in the series. And we pull Hatem Ben Arthur and Montillo, who's a pacey cam that is very, very good. Also got an inform this so far this year. And another winger as well, 84 pace, Lisa Olicha, the uh, Portuguese winger from uh, from Porto. Three fantastic packs. We've waited for our pack luck for ages. Finally, we've got some. Unfortunately, only two fitness cards from the uh, the three packs as a whole. So we are going to have to keep rotating the squad. So chemistry isn't quite as high as it could be. But, of course, that isn't going to matter now, considering the uh, the series has actually come to a premature end. If you missed the uh, the video yesterday that came out last night with uh, with episode number 6, I will leave an annotation to it in, in the left-hand side of the screen, uh, just kind of above the other annotation in the left-hand side of the screen, which is, of course, to uh, the earlier career mode video of the day. Uh, to, that will take you to the video that, where I kind of explain the reasons as to why the series is ending early. But I just want to say at the end of this one, thank you for the huge support that you guys have shown the entire series all the way through. Through. It's been absolutely superb. If you could continue to do that on all of the other series on this channel, then I would be forever indebted to you. And uh, I really do appreciate every single like, every single comment, every single new subscription, and every subscribe, every one of you that has subscribed a year ago and is still here supporting the channel. It really is fully appreciated. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.